All right, our first photo, we have a man and a woman shaking hands and it says something that I can't read. Let's find out what is this photo. This is a picture of First Lady Rosalind Carter in 1978 shaking hands with serial killer John Wayne Gacy. <gasps> that is John Wayne Gacy, yup. He was very active in politics at the time. Sure he was, while well, he was actively people. By this time, he had already killed over 20 young men. He's wearing an S on his lapel, which was given to him by Secret Service to indicate that he had been given security clearance. Oh man, if only they knew. The Secret Service was like, yeah, no, John Wayne Gacy is fine. Like, no, he just does uh, clown shit for, for kids' birthday parties. He's harmless. Meanwhile, he was like hiring young men and then like and like burying them on his property. And the Secret Service was like, yeah, no, he's fine. <gasps> this is awful. This is awful. Don't trust anyone. Okay, family photo, um, four kids and a wife. Cool. This is, oh, another killer. Oh, f Okay, John Edward Robinson in the yellow sweater. Ooh. Holding baby Tiffany Stacy, whose mother he, the day before, he later gave baby Tiffany to his brother saying that she was adopted. His brother along with Tiffany didn't find out the truth for 15 years. Oh my gosh. He's just like posing along with the family and the day before the mother was, ah, so creepy. Again, don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. Okay, man, I, Here's another one, a woman, and I'm assuming that it is her two sons, and I just already know something's bad. Okay, the kid on the right is Bart Whittaker. He had paid two of his buddies to murder his family that night. They would, the mother and brother, but the father who took the photo survived. Oh my God, that is so hard on the father. Imagine like literally his son and wife is gone by your own family, by your own kid. Did it say why he did it? Bart was later sentenced to death, but after his father strongly opposed to it, he is now serving a life sentence. Oh man, does it, I guess it didn't say, I gotta read up on his case, why all of a sudden he went nuts and wanted all of his family gone. Mm, ma'am. Oh, I know this story. I know, I know this kid. Okay, let's read it. A kid went missing while hiking a spot on the big island of Hawaii. He texted some pictures of the scenery while he was hiking. After he never showed up home, his family noticed somebody lurking in the bushes in the photo that he sent. Okay, so what they're not saying is that I think he was staying with like his grandmother and hiking the spot is illegal. It is very dangerous. And his grandma was like, it, you're not doing it. And so uh, he went out and they found out, I think it's called like the stairway to death or something like that, stairway to heaven or something. He was hiking the trail. He was sending all these photos and his family learned that he was at this illegal spot and they warned him. They said it is so dangerous. Like it's just super easy for people to fall off the cliff. And one of the theories was that there was someone lurking in this photo. Again, it is just a theory, it is not confirmed. I personally don't see someone, but then again, is there just someone there that is waiting for victims and then pushing them off the cliff? Like it, I also don't think that his body was ever recovered, which is also very sketchy, because if you're falling off of a trail, like you'd think that your body is down below. So maybe this person did do something. I don't know. It's. Ugh. And he was so young, which is very unfortunate. Next up, we got a picture of a bear. We already know what's gonna happen. Whoever took this photo got eaten up. Okay, let's read it. This photo was snapped on a phone by Darsh Patel, a 22 year old university student who was hiking um, with his four friends. Unfortunately, the bear ended up chasing the students, so they decided to split up. When they regrouped, one student from the group was missing, Darsh Patel. His body was recovered four hours after police arrived at the scene. Oh yeah, he had been eaten up by the bear. Oh, it reminds me of that case of that bear expert that was out with his girlfriend camping in like the bear woods and taking photos of the bears and then woke up to the bear. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, oh, I've also seen this photo. This is Mr. John Lennon, and in the background is, unfortunately, his killer, R.I.P. John Lennon. So again, John Lennon signed an autograph for his killer, Mark Chapman, just a few hours before the murder, and then asked him, is that all? 
No, it was not all, sadly. But this is one of the last photos of John Lennon, and it's very sad how his literal killer is in the background of the photo. I think Mark waited outside of his hotel after this photo was taken and just John. Ugh, so scary, so scary, so scary. I think he was like an obsessed fan, which creeps me the hell out. This next one, it's a man underwater holding a sign. It says, I can't hold my breath long enough to tell you everything I love about you, but everything I love about you, I love more every day. Oh, I know it's gonna break my heart. Okay. It says, a man who swam to his girlfriend in their underwater hotel room while on vacation in Tanzania and then proposed to her underwater with a note and ring. He passed away before he could resurface from the water. Oh, imagine literally being on vacation with the love of your life, being proposed to, being so happy, and then going outside to meet your lover, and they drowned. Whew, moment of silence, that hit me hard. That's insane. Such an elaborate proposal gone wrong. And now she's returning back from vacation without her love of her life. Ugh, ooh. Okay, the next photo that we have, a creepy man in the background staring at some lady's legs. Okay, so this is a photo of serial killer Christopher Wilder lurking in the background during a Seventeen magazine fashion show at the Meadows Mall in Las Vegas on April 1st of 1984. He would then kidnap and 17 year old Michelle Korfman after meeting her at this fashion show, which is the person standing there, the legs that we can see. So it looks like he attended this fashion show to find his next victim, and sadly, it was Michelle. And the fact that they got him on camera? Y'all, y'all. Okay, so we have a photo of two guys. They look guilty. I don't trust them already. This is a photo of Tyler Hadley, the one holding a cup uh, at a party at his house. Just before this party, he, oh my gosh. Mmm. He took the lies of his mother and father with a hammer, oh my gosh, and then hid their bodies in the master bedroom. During the party, Tyler showed his best friend, Michael, the room with his parents, and then they took this photo because he wasn't sure when he would see Tyler again. Yo, the guy knew his friend was going down. He's like, dude, that's fucked up, but let's take a selfie. Dude, that's fucked up. What is going on here? What's with all these teenagers? Ugh. <sighs> okay, last one. Oh, fuck, I know this photo. If you don't know this case, it's gonna mess you up. So this is the photo of Travis Alexander taken by his partner at the time, Jody Arias, I don't know how to pronounce her name, moments before she then sliced him up in the shower. She took so many photos of him and look how terrified he looks. There's even creepier photos. And then she proceeded to take photos of his body after, you know, and there was like slash marks. And sadly, I have seen the actual photos. I don't know why that shit is online, okay? It wasn't even on the dark web. It was it just took me a Google search. I, I don't know why I was looking for it. And then she proceeded to throw the camera in the washing machine and hope that it would destroy the evidence. And then when police came and searched, they found the camera with all these photos on it. And what creeps me out is that if you look at any of her interviews, she kind of plays the victim and she kind of plays like, oh, I'm sweet, I'm innocent. No, it wasn't me. It's so fucked up. So, I'm so sorry for my potty mouth. Everyone on this list deserved so much better. This is insane. Wow, okay, I think this was part three. If y'all wanna see another part, then let me know in the comments below. It was a very heavy topic, so make sure y'all are okay. Go aside, touch some grass, roll around smile, hug your loved ones. With that being said, again, if you like this video, smash that like button, obviously subscribe to my channel. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. Stick around for some bloopers to lighten up the mood and I'll show you, wanna show you. Bye. Uh, holding baby Tiffany. Hold on, I can't see them. There we go. Like such an elaborate,